بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دس ویڈیو ویل اسٹڈی اباؤٹ ولسن ڈیزیز سو وٹ از ولسن ڈیزیز ولسن ڈیزیز از اے ڈیزیز ان وچ وی ہیو ایکسیسو اکومولیشن آف کاپر ان دا ڈفرنٹ ٹیشوز آف دا باڈی وی ہیو آئرن اوور لوڈ ان دا باڈی وی ہیو ایکسیس آف کاپر ان دا باڈی سو وائی ڈو وی ہیو ایکسیس آف کاپر ان دا باڈی اٹ از an autosomal recessive condition it is a genetic condition which is passed from the parents to the offsprings so the first thing is that this disease is usually present by birth because it is transmitted from the parents to the offsprings and it is autosomal recessive disease which means that uh, the child, the patient must get one copy from each of the parent to have this disease and it is a defect in a gene called the ATP7B gene so if you have a defect in this gene uh, by birth you will have wilson disease so what will happen if you have a defect in this gene if you have a defect in this gene uh, you will not be able to transport copper into the bile you will not be able to excrete copper or you will not be able to even transport copper because to copper is transported by ceruloplasmin and incorporation into the ceruloplasmin does not happen because of the defective mutation of the ATP7B gene so the thing is that copper cannot be excreted into the bile and copper cannot be properly transported so what happens uh we are in the liver uh, what is happening in the liver in the liver the thing that is happening is that we have copper and copper cannot be excreted copper cannot be incorporated into ceruloplasmin so what will happen now copper will accumulate in the liver when copper accumulates into the liver uh, it finally leaks into the serum we have this blood here it finally leaks into the serum and what happens if copper leads uh, leaks into the serum we have excess of copper in the blood when we have excess of copper in the blood it then leaks into the different tissues and uh, we have uh, excess of copper in the different tissues and we have deposition of copper in the different parts of the body what will happen now uh, if we have excess of copper in the different tissues of the body if we have excess of copper in the different tissues of the body it results in the generation of hydroxyl free radicals so what will happen if we have free radicals free radicals cause oxidation and we know that oxidation is equal to destruction oxidation actually destroys the cell membrane destroys the tissues so what will happen wherever the copper is deposited it will result in the damage of that part of the body so the basic concept is that we have a defective mutation in the ATP7B gene we cannot excrete the copper we cannot transport the copper we result in the accumulation of copper in the liver we result in the uh, leakage of copper into the blood we result in the leakage of copper into the different tissues of the body we result in the gen- generation of hydroxyl free radicals and we result in the ultimate damage uh, in the different parts of the body so what are the different parts of the body which uh, which manifest with the damage so the first thing is that uh, liver is the first organ obviously which is affected because we have excess accumulation of copper in the liver and uh, we have generation of hydroxyl free radicals damage of the hepatocytes hepatocytes are damaged when the normal parenchyma is damaged when the stem cells are damaged what happens uh, the uh, normal cells are replaced by fibers which is called fibrosis fibrosis is also called cirrhosis so what happens we have cirrhosis of the liver we have replacement of the normal liver tissue by fibers we have neurological manifestations why because the copper also accumulates in the brain it also damages the brain with the help of free radicals hydroxyl free radicals so the main thing is that we have deposition of copper in the basal ganglia and we know that basal ganglia is, is related to movement disorders so we will have movement disorder we can have parkinson like symptoms we can have courier abnormal movements of the uh, hands and we can have dementia we can have behavioral changes uh, and we can have uh, K- K- Kaiser Fleischer rings what are Kaiser Fleischer rings deposition of uh, 
copper in the cornea of the eye so you should remember the two c's copper and cornea of the eye so if we have deposition of cornea uh, in the eye it will result in a ring a colored ring around the body uh, in uh, around the eye which is also called a kaiser fleischer ring so what will be the labs uh, in the labs we will have increased urinary copper because we have excess of copper in the blood so it will result in the excess of copper in the urine as well we will have decreased seroloplasmin because uh, copper cannot be incorporated into the aposeroloplasmin to form seroloplasmin seroloplasmin is actually the combination of aposeroloplasmin and copper so if there is no incorporation of copper as we said that we have a defect in transportation because we cannot form seroloplasmin so seroloplasmin will be low uh, we have defect to transport we will have increased copper on liver biopsy what will result it can result in liver cirrhosis and it can re ultimately result in a hepatocellular carcinoma what is the treatment uh, penicillamine what uh, what does it do it chelates the copper it forms complexes with copper and which results in the removal of copper from the body so this was the basic concept of wilson disease